Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. This is question and answer solve session, and this will help you a lot to prepare yourself for MRCS exam and pass the exam easily. Here the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. A 42 years old teacher is admitted with a fall, and X-ray confirms a fracture of the surgical neck of humerus which nerve is at risk so after reading we have to find out the key point here that key point here the fracture of the surgical neck of the humerus so which nerve injury occurs there so first of all we have to find out the surgical neck of the humerus then we have to find out the nerve which is very close to the surgical neck so here are the options the options are median nerve radial nerve axillary nerve musculocutaneous nerve and subscapular nerve so we have to find out one of the option who is is compatible with the answer of the question so here we can see this is the scapula and here is the humerus and humerus here upper end lower end and shaft and in this line this is the surgical neck so we can see here in this area this is the surgical neck and anatomical leg here so we can see here the different part here first of all the surgical neck of the humerus and this part this is a nerve and uh, name of this nerve is the axillary nerve so surgical neck fracture of the humerus it causes damage or injury to the axillary nerve then we can see see the mid shaft of the humerus or shaft of the humerus here a nerve is going and name of this nerve is radial nerve so mid shaft of the humerus nerve injury causes injury or causes damage to the radial nerve and here we can see the another structure this is the medial epicondyle or medial condyle so behind the medial condyle here a nerve this is the ulnar nerve so fracture or damage to the medial condyle it may causes uh, injury to the ulnar nerve so this three position three nerve one is surgical neck here axillary nerve mid shaft of the humerus this is radial nerve and here the medial condyle or medial epicondyle here the ulnar nerve so here we can see here uh, in the another picture who is is very important for the exam and frequently uh, question arises from here so here at this point this is the surgical neck so the surgical neck axillary nerve and here is the mid shaft of the humerus or shaft fracture shaft of the humerus here uh, the junction uh, at the place near to the place of the deltoid tuberosity here is the radial nerve and we can see in the lower part there is supracondylar area here this is the supracondylar part and in the supracondylar part there is another nerve going as the, this nerve is the median nerve and we can see another part here the medial epicondyle so during fracture of the medial epicondyle there is a nerve this nerve is ulnar nerve so in case of humerus there are four nerve are uh, great risk of the injury during the fracture of the different parts of the humerus so according to the position axillary radial ulnar and median nerve may be damaged and this location is very important so we have to remember all the points of fracture of the humerus and it will be very easy for us uh, to answer the all question re uh, regarding the fracture of the humerus so here our final answer is the axillary nerve because axillary nerve it lies at the surgical neck of the humerus and it may get damaged during the surgical neck fracture so finally and other options such as median nerve and radial nerve they also be damaged but median nerve is uh, due, uh, during the supracondylar fracture radial nerve during the mid shaft of the humerus fracture and musculo uh, subscapular and musculocutaneous nerve they are usually not get injured during the uh, fracture of the humerus thank you all